Okay, guys, in this video, let's find out the elasticity of substitution for our simplified version of CS production function that in the, in the previous videos, we have found out the a technical rate of substitution and elasticity of substitution. Now is the time to find out the elasticity of scale for the simplified version of CS production function. Uh, so the, the general production function for CS types of production function is equal to this. But we assume that A is equal to B is equal to 1. So then this production function change to this one. And now, if you are going to scale all inputs in this production function, the simplified version of production function by T, what will be the elasticity of a scale for this simplified version of CS production function? So we have the formula that elasticity of a scale is equal to the derivative of output after scaling with respect to a scalar, which is t, multiplied by t over y of t, output after scaling. So now, let's find out first of all y of t, y after scaling. So y of t is equal to, it means we are going to scale each input by t. So then this one will change t multiplied by l to the power of rho plus t multiplied by k to the power of rho and whole to the power of 1 over rho, this one will remain the same. Then y of t is equal to, we have t to the power of rho here, t to the power of rho here, then we use as a common uh, like factor. Then t to the power of rho multiplied by l to the power of rho plus k to the power of rho whole to the power of 1 over rho. So now, so we can move out this t to the power of rho here, so then we have rho, we have 1 over rho. This rho, this rho will cancel out with this rho when we are going to make it simple. So then t will come here. Y of t will be equal to t multiplied by L to the power of rho plus k to the power of rho whole to the power of 1 over rho. And if we clearly see this one, this side, L to the power of rho plus k to the power of rho whole to the power of 1 over rho, it's exactly equal to this y. So then instead of L to the power of rho, k to the power of rho, or, or uh, the whole to the power of 1 over rho, we just can write down simply y. So then y of t is equal to t multiplied by y. So now is the time to find out the elasticity of a scale for this simplified version of CS production function. So, so then let's go and find out. Ex is equal to d of yt with respect to dt. Yt is equal to ty. Yt is equal to ty or x is equal to this one. Ty or equal to this one. So either you use this for this form or this form, we will have exactly the same result. So let's make it this longer form to use that one. So then derivative of y of t, this y of t with respect to t will change to this one. L to the power of rho plus k to the power of rho whole to the power of 1 over rho. Then multiplied by t over this y of t. Again, this one. t multiplied by L to the power of rho, k to the power of rho, uh, whole to the power of 1 over rho. So write down this one. t multiplied by L to the power of rho plus k to the power of rho, whole to the power of 1 over rho. Whole to the power of 1 over rho. So now, we have some common factor that we cancel out then. So then this t will cancel out with this t. This factors all will cancel out with this factors. And finally, what we will have We'll have the EX or elasticity of scale for a CS production function is equal to 1. And we know that if elasticity of substitution, uh, sorry, elasticity of scale is equal to 1, then we are going to have a constant return to scale production function. So finally, we can conclude that the 
elasticity of skill for a CS production function is equal to one. It means a CS production function exhibit a constant return to scale production function. This is the final conclusion that we can make for a CS production function. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to subscribe my YouTube channel. Like and share your comments. Ask your questions. I will try to answer as soon as possible and see you next time.